Hey all, this is Steph No from the Sporting News. Uh, I wanted to make a tutorial on how to edit and, and download clips of uh, NBA plays. I get asked this question all the time, um, and I want to open up the access for people to be able to do this because uh, I just think it's cool. Like when more people know how to do this kind of work, we get a much better product uh, in like the NBA community. Apologies, this video is not going to be super well done or professional like i'm not writing a script or anything it's all just gonna be one take but you know my youtube channel is not monetized and uh, i'm kind of just doing this uh to help out those people that want to get started uh in the industry and you know want to want to work on film clips and stuff like that so uh without further ado um yeah the software that i use is obs there's a lot of screen recording software programs out there but this one is pretty good and free a lot of streamers use it but yeah you can download it at obsproject.com slash download just you know click the download installer i'm not going to go through and do this for you but you know it's a pretty simple installation and nothing crazy there okay so uh the first thing i guess to get into is where to get your clips from so uh what i do is I just watch the games on League Pass and tag plays that I find interesting and then use the screen recording software to record the plays and edit them from there. But uh, a lot of you probably might not have League Pass or might want to use something a little easier. So another good way to do it is to go to the NBA stats page. And if you go to the games... The NBA provides uh, clips of every single play for every game, which is, is pretty awesome. If you go to um, the box score link here, and let's say we want to see all of Andrew Wiggins' makes. So we would just click on here. And it gives you all of this video, which is awesome. Uh, let's say that like you don't you don't want Andrew Wiggins plays. You saw something really cool in the first quarter of this game, eight minute mark. So you go to the play by play tab here, and yeah, just at the eight minute. So it has like every single play in the game. The eight minute mark, Jason Tatum had an eighteen foot step back. So we can click on that. Same thing. You know, you you get the whole play. So. Yeah, you, you find the play that you want on your screen. Now, how do you record it? Well, okay, so you have installed OBS by this point, hopefully. Just open up that program. Okay, so this is the um, main page you get when you open up OBS. And this is, this is from a whole thing. I'm going to reset it to the defaults here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is in the sources box, you want to right click, go to add, and for our purposes, we're going to use window capture. Hit OK. Uh, capture cursor, I always turn this off, but if you leave it on, you're, you'll just see the mouse if you want to like point at things while you're recording. That might be useful in that fashion, but I usually just leave it off. And under here, this tab, um, if you have multiple tabs open, you might have to switch. Like, here's another program I have open. But for our purposes here, it's already on the right window. Hit OK. And you can move this and resize this into your box. This is a preview of what the recording is going to look like. So if I just recorded this like this. Um, so let's hit play here. I'm going to start recording. Okay, so if I go and watch that clip, it's not going to be exactly what I want because it has all this other stuff in it. Like I want the whole play to take up the whole screen and crop out all this other stuff. So the way we go about doing that is we can drag this around and resize it. So I drag it to the corner, go on the outside of this red box and drag Got to move it around again. 
until we get it covering the whole screen. Yep, and then the start recording button, that's what we hit to start recording. So I'm gonna click that, play my video. And then once the play is over, you just hit this stop recording button. And you can see where this file is saved if you go to settings, output, yeah, and right here, the recording path. So I just have a folder on my desktop for OBS recordings. And that's, you can see where if we go to my desktop. We go to desktop, let's see, OBS recordings. And here it tags it uh, by default with like the date and I guess a timestamp. You can always rename it. It's like not a great naming system. But yep, there's our play. And if you want to, you know, tweet this, you can. It's just like a regular MP4 video. If you want to use it for a story that you're writing, the site that I usually go to is Streamable. That's a really popular one. It says free uploads. Uh, just hit the upload video button here. Find the play you want. Here is this one. We can rename this, you know, Tatum 18 foot step back. This is uh, also if you like uh, if you upload clips to um, NBA Reddit, they always want you to do it in a streamable format. So it's good practice for that. Then here's your direct link. You just click on that. There's our play. Actually, this I didn't upload the right one, but same idea. And yeah, if you want to use this for a story, if you're in like a WordPress editor, which most sites use, um, go back to your streamable page and there's an embed button right here. You just copy this code and then paste it in whatever um, CMS you're using. Like, um, yeah, if you're, I'm, I'm recording this specifically for somebody who is trying to write stuff for SB Nation. So SB Nation, yeah, has a WordPress um, CMS, you just copy and paste this into the, the WordPress file and yep, that's it. So if you have questions on how to use OBS, uh, getting the settings correctly can be a pretty tricky proposition. Um, I just suggest like Googling that stuff. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube that are much better made, frankly, than this one. Um, and a lot of people have the same questions that you probably have, so it's not super difficult to just um, try to find the answer on Google. But if that doesn't work, you can also feel free to email me. I guess I should uh, let's see here. Put my email in big letters so people can see it. Yeah, my email is stefano at tsn.com. Let's get this nice and big for people. Yep, there it is. And you can email me questions about pretty much anything. Like, I'm pretty good about answering questions for up and coming writers. And, you know, if I have some time, then I will definitely make an effort to respond to all questions. So I hope that was helpful. And, um, yep, good luck on your journey here.